Welcome to Intune Training. Uh, how's everyone going? Steve, how are you? I'm good, Ben. How about yourself? Not bad at all. Uh, so, hey, this is uh, one of our uh, fancy new short videos, hopefully, uh, where we're just going to deep dive into a couple of things um, that will help you in your sort of day-to-day -day, um, work lives. Um, so today, I really wanted to focus on the Intune Management Extension logs uh, and a couple of the other logs that are available to us. Um, because I know, uh, I'm sure you would agree, um, that I get a lot of people saying that they just don't know what happens with Intune. They hit a button, they just hope that it works, um, and they feel like, yeah. exactly, it's, it's magic. But like, as, as opposed to Config Manager, when we had all of that verbose logging, um, some people feel like there's just no information there. So we just wanted today to really quickly jump into the, um, the Intune Management uh, extension log and the Agent Executor logs that are available on all computers. Uh, with the Intune agent, uh, and we'll just have a quick uh, deep dive into that. So, what am I doing on the computer, Ben? You want to talk uh, first of all, you're going to make your volume a little louder. I'm going to make my volume a little louder by sitting closer to the microphone. Is that better? That's much better. Right. Okay, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, we've, we've pre-installed a very important tool, is the uh, CM Trace application. Um, if you don't have that, strongly recommend you grab it. Um, you should be licensed for it if you've got Intune, right? Technically. I don't know enough to say the way. Fair enough. You don't technically need this, but it does make uh, log reading a lot easier. Um, and I'm sure that anyone, uh, any of you guys that have done uh, Config Manager before have access to CM Trace. So it's, it just makes things a lot easier. So I'll just get you to open that up. Yeah, yep. So if we go back here, uh, let me go to CM Trace, which we know we, we installed into CM Program data. data. Yeah. Under our Intune training folder. That's it. CM Trace there. Cool. So we're going to open two instances of uh, CM Trace because I want to open both the logs side by side. Well, you know you can open the two logs at the same time in. Yeah, 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 yeah. However you want to do it. I trust you. I, I'm going to do it side by side because it's easier, but we can actually, I'm going to quickly diverge as I always do. Yeah, go um, for it. And we can go here and we can open multiple files that are in the same directory. Nice. And merge All them right. into a single view. Sweet, let's do it. So the uh, the logs that we're going to look at uh, are in C drive program data, C which is hidden by default. Is it? Yeah. Didn't realize. And then Microsoft. Microsoft. And then Intune Management Extension. And then so, logs. logs. So we've got a couple of different uh, log files here. The two ones that we're going to focus on right now are the Intune Management Extension and the Agent Executor. Um, these are the most commonly used logs, um, primarily around sort of app deployment and just general, uh, you know, whenever you kick off a sync, um, that data uh, gets put into the Intune Management Extension log. and Whenever whenever a script runs, uh, the agent executor um, kicks off stuff. I, it does a lot more than that, but that's pretty much all I've looked at it. Um, it's primarily around sidecar stuff. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, well, cool. The Intune management extension is sidecar. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, that's cool. So, all right, so we've got these two log files. Um, in a real world scenario, these files get cleaned out fairly regularly. I don't know what the, the line limit is, um, but the idea is that it's it's not a historical record. You can't go back months or anything. This is a, a couple of days at most. Uh, Unlike on my computer. Exactly. Well, you haven't had this machine on for quite some time, right? This is your yeah. virtual machine. So um, in a real world scenario, this is pretty much a day to a couple of days maximum that you're going to have information. So it's good for jumping on and sort of troubleshooting things on the fly, which is what we're going to do now. Um, cool. So we've got these two log files open. So what I want to do is go back into Company Portal, and we're going to download the application that we've prepared for this, which is Winamp, uh, which apparently is still a thing. Um, this is the latest version of Winamp, Five Point Infinity. Um, so we're just going to install that, and we're going to look at uh, the Intune Management Extension log and watch a whole bunch of stuff pop up on the screen. Hopefully. Hey, look at that. So we'll just let this do its thing. Um, we should see some really interesting info. Um, you'll also see uh, on the agent executor side um, that specifically the, the script failed. Um, we can dig into that 
once we're onto that side. But let's just, for now, what we're seeing from the agent executor log is that um, it failed to detect the app. So let's download it and install it. Um, was it so that quick? Downloading? No. It's downloading now. Remember, I don't have a fast internet. <laughs> yes. So it's just going through the download process. We can actually see it going through that process. Yep, yep. Here. And it failed to install. Okay, cool. So first things first, let's just see if the actual app ended up on the machine. Because um, I did do this in a bit of a rush. Just search for WinApp and see what happens. Look at that. Looks like the app actually installed. So what does that mean? It wow, means it's, it's admin privileges. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I don't recommend installing this <laughs> in your production environment. Uh, Oh well, yeah, it's uh, it, it has uh, doesn't doesn't do DPI scaling very well, Steve. No, no. Um, so straight away to me that tells me there's a detection method issue because what we're looking at is the app's installed, but it's saying it's failed. So you should always be going and looking at your detection method. That's correct. So, so in this scenario, uh, I you actually you can see what happened. Have a look at the fourth last line in Agent Executor. This one here. No, 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 no. On the Agent Executor log. Oh, okay. That one there. Now read that. You can't you, you can't uh, find winump winump.exe. So this is a uh, an intentional thing. I I stuffed up the um, the detection method. So we're doing a custom PowerShell script detection method just so that we could see what comes into the agent executor log. Um, and the benefit here is that uh, anything that you put into the uh, the right output of a detection method script comes up in this log file. So you can be as detailed as you want or not. It's completely up to you. Um, yep. The only thing that you really need to make sure of is that if it uh, passes your test for detection, it exits with a zero, which is in PowerShell term, it's exit zero. Uh, yep. And if it, if it fails to detect, which it has in this scenario, it's exited as one or anything higher than zero. So ju just for reference, when we're looking at uh, exit code, zero is always the operation completed successfully. Yeah. And one is always going to be that incorrect function. This That's is correct. a Windows wide setting. It's not just related to PowerShell. Exactly, yeah. Um, so that's that's actually a really cool example that we've got here. So we've got an app that has installed. Um, we can see the um, the detection method script is run, which we can see from the agent executor log. And we can see that um, it's failed, but this is why. So I specifically put this line in so that we can see um, the output. But you know, it, it shows us where the failure is. So what I would do in a real world scenario is I would go back and I would change the detection method script, re-upload it, and then fix it. But Let's say, for uh, for example, which is something that literally happened to me today, that the application was the thing that had the problem. Um, so in this scenario, uh, how would we, we, we would just want to do a quick and dirty troubleshoot of the application installer on this machine. Now, uh, in this scenario, we don't have access to the install files because the way that Intune works is it downloads the package, it decrypts it, kicks off the script, does all the stuff, does the detection method, and then whether it passes or fails, it deletes the payload from the machine, uh, which is by design. Um, but in this scenario, it's exactly, it's security as well as file uh, <laughs> file size yeah. saving. Um, so the scenario that we want to do now is we want to go, okay, it failed, but I want the installation media back on my machine so I can figure out what went wrong. Now, one of the cool things that not many people uh, know uh, is That's that you can... That. The, yeah, exactly, is that in the uh, the IME log or the Intune Management Extension log, we actually have enough information in here to download the installation media, uh, but only, and, and this is really important, but only on the machine that this log existed in. So it's a very secure way um, where it, it encrypts the keys specifically for this session um, so that we can actually go in and we can download the installation media if we know where to look. So this is where we're going to dig into this uh, the IME log a little bit um, and try and find that if you want to. Um, yep. So the first cool. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, if you just want to search for the line that starts with. Hang on, let me try and find this. It should be uh, get content info from service. Uh, all one word. Uh, no, 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 no. Spaces. Space. Get content. Yeah. Uh, info from is probably enough. 
and from Intune. No, that's not it. From service, so we'll probably need to. There we go. Cool. Okay, so just bring that up a little bit, and we'll. Or if you just want to copy that somewhere, so we can look at it. Yeah, just copy it. If we had VS Code, I'd get you to do that, but um, it's sort of not important about what we're looking at here. Um, let's just paste it in there. So what this is, is the actual payload of uh, what the Intune management extension uh, needs to download uh, the content and unpack it and kick off the install. Um, it's a lot of information in here. Um, and the cool thing is, is it's all encrypted uh, and it's an encrypted with keys that uh, only work on the machine itself uh, that it's uh, that it's run from. So I'm not going to take credit for understanding this myself. Um, uh, another guy in the community, Oliver Kieselback, I hope I've got his last name correct, uh, actually uh, did a great blog post that we'll put a link down below uh, on. And he came up with most of the solution that I'm going to show you next. Um, I just made it more PowerShelly um, so that uh, it, it can run uh, without needing to have other applications running and stuff like that. But so now that we've got this info, so we've got key, session ID, all that, all this sort of stuff is really important. Um, the response payload, if you want to drill into that, that's where everything lives. Um, so just keep going across. There's like a super encrypted, really long. So this, uh, uh, stop for a sec, go back. Keep going, keep going. This this string here, inchinwin.bin. This is the actual link to the installation media. Is this one here? The uh, yeah, yeah, but oh, it's yeah, it's a pain. Uh, let's just quickly see if we can. Yeah, do that. We can chop this up. There we go, upload location. Cool. So the other thing that I'm going to call out here mm -hmm. um, is, let's just go across a little bit further. Yeah, it's just where the squiggly line ends. Is this one here. The DO file ID? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's the delivery optimization file ID, so it knows how to talk to other computers to see if that um, file exists. Mm -hmm. It's a long and line. It is a very long line. It's a very long line. Um, but and and if you've got DO set up, you can actually see in your IME logs that it um, is it's pulling it down through DO. Um, it just says DO, and it's it's actually really clever. Um, cool. So you can see here that this is the file. Now, if we were to go, okay, well, we'll just download the Intune Win Bin file. Um, we can't actually do anything with that uh, because it is an encrypted file um, that is created when you do that initial uh, package of the uh, the Win32 app. So what we need to do is we need to understand what is in this payload of data um, and then convert some of the fields, decrypt them, um, and then we can actually download the media, decrypt it, and unzip it uh, so that we can actually look at the media and try and fix whatever is wrong with the application. Um, there are a couple of prereqs to do this. Um, the most important one is that you install the 7-zip PowerShell module, which is uh, called 7-zip4, the number four uh, PowerShell. Um, once you've got that, it basically allows us to unzip things that aren't uh, registered or uh, detected as zip files uh, natively by Microsoft, uh, or Windows rather. Um, so this code um, is what's going to do everything. We don't need to really deep dive into this. I am going to put this up or it is up on my GitHub page and we'll put a link down below. Um, but this is going to do everything for us. As I said, um, a big chunk, especially the decryption stuff, uh, was done by uh, Oliver Kieselback. I've just uh, modified some of it a little bit so that instead of relying on some CLI tools, we're doing it all natively within PowerShell. Um, so what we're going to do, um, I know we were playing around with this before, but can you go into the, uh, the folder C drive bin and just clear it out? Already have. You already have. Awesome. Um, so really quickly, um, all we're doing in line three is we're just pointing to that log file. Line four is the string search that we're doing. So much like I got Steve to uh, just press control F and search for get content info from service. We're doing the same thing with a little bit at the front because we don't see that like uh, greater than log when we open CM trace, but it is there. Um, so we just need to, we're looking for that line. 
And finally, we're going to download and save all of our uh, media that we find in our log file into C drive bin. You can obviously change this, um, but for this test, uh, that's enough. Um, we have some functions that do the things that we need to do. Um, the invoke file download is just a little handy helper that I wrote for the Intune uh, USB creator, so I just use it all the time. Um, expand, Intune Win, and Decrypt are the primary uh, functions that sort of do the heavy lifting. Um, but all it is really is just decrypting the payload from the log file, um, finding the the encryption key and IV key, uh, and using those to decrypt the Intune uh, .bin file that we download. Nice. Um, and then once we've uh, decrypted it, we simply use the that seven zip module to uh, unzip the file. Um, cool. Yeah, so, so it's super simple. Uh, select it all and press F8, please. F5 scares me. Okay, it's the same thing, but sure. <laughs> it does the same thing, I know. Um, so we can see down here uh, that we're downloading some stuff. Now, um, we were sort of laughing a little bit. Um, this machine uh, that Steve is using is just a virtual machine that he hasn't turned on for quite a while. Um, so the log files have got all of the applications that he's downloaded recently. Now, in a real world scenario, like we were saying, um, the, the log file clears itself out quite a lot. So you only really ever see uh, the most recent thing in the last couple of days. So it's a, it's, it's a good way that you can, um, as a rule of thumb, if you haven't downloaded anything that day, it's probably not going to be in the log file if it's a, you know, a real yeah. use case uh, machine. Um, cool. Maybe just go into Explorer so we can have a look at okay. the stuff. Let's see. Bin. And obviously the naming of this is a nightmare, but uh, there are ways that we can get this info. So this is TeamViewer. Uh, we should be able to see Winamp. Hey, yeah, check right. that out. We've got a file in there called Secret Virus. So this is primarily what I wanted to show you. So like we had an application that, uh, <laughs> so we had an application that potentially failed uh, and obviously we intentionally made it fail with the detection method. But if the app failed, we can now pull that data back. We can actually have a look at what's inside the payload uh, we can modify it, we can test it, and then once we're happy that we've fixed the problem, we send it back to the person who packaged it and just say, hey, I figured it out. Can you please repackage? Yeah. Perfect. I think that's really important. Cool. Yeah. I think that's a good recap of how the log file works for Intune Management Engine, uh, or extension, sorry. Uh, and yeah, obviously the PowerShell script that Ben's got there is available on the website. Um, and it's obviously going to be uh, there's going to be a link for it down below. But correct. And everything and everything that's required to install it and set it up. But this will be something that's going to be really useful when you're doing troubleshooting. Definitely. Awesome. Thanks awesome, for that, Steve. Ben. Uh, anytime. Anytime. I will uh, talk to you later. Yes, you will. Bye, guys.